Real estate market trends. Will California housing prices drop? That's our topic today. Let's get started right after this. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kim Ward. I'm a real estate broker in beautiful San Diego, and I help executors, administrators, and trustees with homes in probate or trust administration. My topic today is real estate housing trends and will California housing prices drop or will the housing market maintain its momentum? Your house could be the oasis in the housing desert for many home buyers. Many buyers are flooding the housing market right now because of record low interest rates. And many are flooding the housing market just because they hear that real estate prices are going to continue to go up. And as a result of all of that, obviously buyer demand way outweighs the houses that are on the market. So that shortage of housing right now makes a property that you're responsible for a hot commodity. According to the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, today's housing overall sits at an incredible 2.1 months inventory supply which a regular balanced market usually has six months of inventory available. So you can see why there are so many buyers for a few homes. I just put a house on the market three days ago, today's Monday, so I put it on Friday evening and scheduled 30 plus showings. I am going to be reviewing 10 plus offers and the offers, most of them are substantially above list price, meaning I priced it correctly for what had currently sold in the last six months, but our housing market, the prices are just shooting up and most of the offers are five to 10% above my list price. If I only had a crystal ball, but I don't have a crystal ball, so I'll share some of the data from NAR. That way you'll have the facts to decide how you want to go forward, whether you want to put a home on the market now or wait a little while. So the existing home sales from NAR shows that sales have dropped by 3.7% just recently. And this is the second consecutive month that sales have slumped. So some see that as our red hot market actually cooling. However, there could be a simple explanation for that change, mostly because there's just not enough homes for buyers to buy. Currently, there are 410,000 less homes that were available for purchase than last year across the country. The sales in March and April would have been markedly higher if there had been enough homes for buyers to buy. The days on market is swift just like the story I just told you about the home I put on the market in Chula Vista and within 48 hours had scheduled over 30 showings. The days on market are less than five days typically here in San Diego. Multiple offers are prevalent and buyer confidence is truly rising. They want to get into homes and buyer demand remains strong with much of the adult population actually getting vaccinations and the job creation data showing that that's doing well also. The existing home inventory is expected to increase in the next few months. So what will this mean for home sales going forward, especially if you have a home that you're responsible for? Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and the Mortgage Bankers Association have all forecasted that total homes, existing homes and new builds will continue their momentum this year and into 2022. The bottom line is that living through a pandemic has caused many people to reevaluate the importance of home ownership and the residential real estate market here in San Diego and across the country will benefit from both as we move forward. Hope you found this of value. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And also go ahead and comment down below. I read all your comments and I answer them. Thank you. See you next week.